This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson, and you're listening to Something to Wrestle with Bruce Pritchard. Bruce, what's going on, man? How are you? Okay, who submitted that question, and um, does that count as one of the Ask Bruce Anything? Yes, Conrad from Huntsville wants to know, Bruce, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty damn good, as a matter of fact. How in the hell are you doing? Man, I'm good. You know, we, uh, we heard from you a couple of weeks ago that you had just had quite the haul on Paul Bosch memorabilia, uh, to get us started today. Find anything good lately? Um, you know, I, I'm finding a lot of interesting tidbits of things. For example, the, the different machinations of his will, his last will and testament, which, um, proved to be very interesting in notes about why he made certain changes to that. And then going through, um, <clears throat> well, Paul had some interesting tastes and loved to travel the world and loved to uh, pick up tidbits from other cultures. Uh, for example, I, I'm staring <laughs> in, a, in a package in, my the the studio portion of my office of bamboo spears from New Guinea. What? Okay. Bamboo spears from New Guinea. No, I don't. I don't know what you're saying right now. Do you know what a bamboo spear is? I don't understand why he has it. Um. Well, he went to New Guinea. Uh, I think in like 1941, and was intrigued again by the culture. Paul loved world travel and Paul loved to, to study cultures other than our own. So he was fascinated by these handmade spears that New Guinea tribesmen would carve and brought back a bunch of New Guinea spears. He used to have them on top on the, on the ceiling of his office, kind of like all fanned out. It's kind of a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool display. Now they're all wrapped up and packed up, but they're sitting in here. I don't know why they're sitting in here, but uh, maybe my wife got sick of them being down in the basement and moved them. I've got, uh, I've got a hand drawing that Don Fargo drew for Paul, of Paul, kind of like sitting on a ring post. Uh, with the microphone in his hand as if he was doing commentary and mayhem ensuing below, as well as a hand um, punched or, or looped, you know, like a carpet mm -hmm. art of the pro wrestling king of sports symbol. Um, that's up here in the in the studio now. Uh, so yeah, a lot of, a lot of pretty interesting, cool tidbits. And I know what you're going to say. Why don't I post some of these? Maybe I will. Maybe I'll, I'll start posting some of these, uh, this weekend and have folks take a look and, and just see some of the, the deals I, I actually put up in the main part of my office. I've got his boots, which were bronzed in a real cool display. I've got those up on the above the fireplace, as well as this ring that was handmade that was always a favorite of mine, a wrestling ring. And I've got some statues in, in both of those. And I've got some cool statues and just different different displays. And I'll maybe take some pictures and shoot those out to everybody this weekend. See, I knew I'd get you to come around. Here's a little pro tip for you, boys and girls. If you have regular interactions with Bruce Pritchard and he's not in a good mood, ask him about Paul Bosch and he'll cheer right up for you. I'm in a great mood. Okay, motherfucker. You ain't got to get hot. What? Charlie Thrower wants to know, during the Ruthless Aggression special on the WWE Network, Bruce, you have on a gold ring that faintly resembles Paul Bosch's. Is this the ring you lost? And if not... Were you able to find it during your recent move to Connecticut? I have not found the ring, and the ring that you see in that is one that I had made uh, by Brad Marks with IW Marks Jewelers there in Houston, Texas. And IW Marks was a longtime sponsor of the Houston Wrestling Program, kept us on the air. Uh, come see us, come see us and save 3841 Bel Air Boulevard at 
Stella Link. Um, hey, Brad, you owe me for that commercial. Uh, but Brad Marks made that for me, and that's my kind of homage to Paul, and that's that's my wrestling ring. Friend of the show, Efren, wants to know, Bruce, what can you tell me about the NWA Pacific Northwest heavyweight champion turned WWF enhancement talent turned angriest referee ever, Jack Kruger? This guy would get so pissed in the ring that they ever have to tell him to tone it down. And he has a clip here from WrestleMania four, where he's really given the business to the million dollar man. Yeah. Jack was, Jack was one of those old timers, the super nice guy. I don't know a lot about him. The only thing that I really knew about Jack is when he was a referee with uh, WWE. So I th- see that's news to me. I didn't know that he was a Pacific Northwest, whatever Furnham Snavitz <laughs> champion of the Hill there in Eugene, Oregon with Elton Owens and all that shooting shit. I saw something a couple of weeks back and it was, uh, it was on Twitter and it was a video clip of Gordon Soley and Ole Anderson on Georgia championship wrestling, opening a box from a fan and Ole clearly trying to do the ribbing says that it was from Ethel Stavitz and he opens it up and they would describe it as a confectionery item of some sort. And oh, there seems to be chocolate on the bottom. It's a chocolate dick. And Gordon Sully says, did you model for that? As they quickly shut the box. Did you ever see this? Can you believe this actually made air on TBS chocolate dicks? Well, I'm not not even going to say it. (laughs) Uh. I'm just saying like the idea that they knew they were going to do this. I mean, Schnavitz is, is a fucking worker name, right? I mean, you guys have always made that bullshit word up for make believe whatever's right. And so when I. I'd only heard you do it. And then I started to hear Taz and some other guys say it randomly. And it started to pique my, my interest a little bit. And then I heard Oldie say it and I'm like, oh fuck, this is all a planned whatever for TBS. This is unreal. Little, little scary. And it's interesting that you would bring up Efren and that that made you think of a chocolate penis. No, that's not exactly what it was. Well, it was a hell of a segue is all I'm saying. Okay, but you said Schnavitz in the answer when you were talking about the Pacific North. Actually, I said Snapes. Whatever. You said that word, and it made me think, hey, I forgot to mention this to Bruce. Yeah, you know, back back then you could get away with a lot more, so to speak, and in that kind of way, I guess. So you saw it, and it was just to pop the boys, and everybody had a funny ha-ha? Yeah. Michael Eldridge wants to know, pick your poison, Bruce. Edit Dave Meltzer's Wrestling Observer Newsletter or book creative with Jerry Jarrett and Vince Russo for a year. Oh, God. Well, I mean, if you edit it, I mean, I would take editing uh, the shit sheet uh, because it's just easy to, all you're doing is Xing it out and then it would only be like a paragraph long. Poops wants to know when guys get fined, how is that done? Is it withheld from their future checks or earnings? Do they have to cut a check back to the company? If it's the latter, where does that money go? The NBA and NFL. I have no idea idea how it's done. I'll tell you how it used to be done. Okay. Used to just withhold it from their check. If it was too much, you'd do it in increments. If it was a big fine, then you did it in increments. Justin Davis wants to know for WrestleMania five, was there an alternate promo or poster that included Miss Elizabeth, but wasn't chosen? Of course, we all remember the WrestleMania five poster as that iconic drawing of the macho man and Hulk Hogan, the mega powers explode, but front and center of that story was miss Elizabeth. Was there a version considered with her on the poster? If there was, I never saw it. That would have been cool. Shit. She probably should have been in the middle. It would have been cool. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.